Hey, it's John with South Austin Life. I'm gonna do a quick update on my triathlon training. Uh, six weeks in, it's going well, it's been tough, and but I've, I feel good about everything. I've had a few workouts that have really kind of boosted my confidence, making me feel a whole lot better about this whole undertaking. Uh, I've been averaging 14 hours a week for the past six weeks. Uh, that includes about three swims a week, uh, the swim is definitely the discipline that I am the least comfortable in and I'm getting more comfortable. So I'm not sure I'm getting faster necessarily, but hopefully that will happen as we continue to go. But I am getting to where I don't get tired as tired as fast. I feel better throughout the workout and I think my form is getting better. The Unfortunately, the pool uh, that I normally use at the gym has been closed for the past week, week and a half. And I've been having to make do in the pool in the backyard, which is considerably smaller than a regulation pool. For shorter workouts where I'm doing 25s or 50s, I've got a, a tether that I tie myself to the fence and just swim in place, um, which is fine for the short kind of higher intensity intervals but for for longer stuff it feels awful and the my form is just not right i can't move the way i feel like i need to be moving so i just do a whole lot of turning around back and forth hopefully they'll have the pool fixed pretty quick and i'll be able to get back into something with a longer distance back and forth uh, on the bike i've been doing about four to five rides a week with, for specific workouts that have specific intervals and targets. I'm doing all of those on Zwift indoors. It's just easier to not have to worry about terrain or traffic or turns in the road or anything like that. Just focus on the intervals, executing the workouts to, to build those adaptations, build that fitness. And I'm just, I feel stronger and stronger every week on the bike. Um, for general endurance rides, I do as many of those as I can outdoors. The weather has been not great the past few weeks. We've been getting a lot of rain and I just, I can ride in the rain. I have ridden in the rain. I don't want to ride in the rain and risk crashing while I'm in training. You know, I know it might rain during the race, but crashing at the race, at least you already made it to the race. Um, on the run, Three, about three to five, four to five runs per week. Uh, two of those are usually included with a brick workout, so a ride and then a run right off the bike. Uh, again, the weather has been pretty nasty when it's not raining, it's humid. Uh, I'll, I'll still go out and run in the rain. I'm not a fan of long runs on the treadmill, so a choice between the treadmill and the rain, probably gonna pick the rain. So this is nice. The funny thing is, if it was any shorter a run, I probably would have done it on the treadmill. Two hours on this, out in this is better than two hours in the garage, I guess, maybe. But sometimes, if I, I had uh, an occasion weekend before last where I had two longer runs back to back on Saturday and Sunday, and that second run was done on the treadmill. Uh, and it was fine. I just throw a movie on the TV in the garage and zone out. Um, still doing two strength workouts, two actual, you know, with weights um, workouts per week. And not going crazy with the intensity, just some good solid efforts just to keep everything strong, keep everything healthy. Uh, and I am doing uh, just a basic five or 10 minute, 15 minute core workout about five times a week. And I generally do those immediately after a run or a bike ride. Um, Cause I'm already sweaty, I'm already 
you know, in that mindset to go ahead and, and get that workout done and that way they're not getting put off, you know, oh, I'll do that later, I'll do that later. No, you're already out there, you're already in the garage, you just got in from your run or whatever and it's time to go knock out a core workout, right? And sometimes, sometimes Mila can go for a run with me but as it's getting hotter, we're either gonna have to get up earlier or she's not gonna get to go as much. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really good. And then, you know, so that's just the basics, uh, but also with Zwift is, I, I can't say enough good things about Zwift. It makes the riding in the garage, not just tolerable, but actually enjoyable. And they came out with a new set of routes for riding uh, what two weeks ago and you know I managed to knock out all of those routes since they opened up so that was kind of fun um, you know and they've got the Tron bike and I finally climbed enough feet to earn that that was kind of cool um, and then this, this past weekend, kind of the culmination of my six weeks, I had my longest bike ride ever, um, 75 miles. And so my longest bike ride is now longer than my longest run. And then a 30 minute run immediately off the bike. So I got off the bike and I went ahead and just hopped on the treadmill and uh, knocked out the 30 minute run on the treadmill. And I was really, pleased with how all of that went. I was expecting after that long ride to just be ready to be done. And but I felt good and I jumped on the treadmill and I ran and I ran pretty fast. And you know, it wasn't a slog, it wasn't a death march or anything like that. And then the following day woke up and had another 2-hour ride and went out and knocked it out and felt great. So, um you know, the next morning I was a little bit sore, but did a, an easy recovery spin and was feeling good again. So all in all, I've got eight weeks to go and I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling strong, and I feel like I'm just gonna continue to get stronger through the rest of this process and be ready to just execute the best race I can in eight weeks. So um, thanks for stopping by. For people who care about the little details, I'll throw that in the description. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. If you wanna see the video of the testing that I did prior to starting the training that I'm doing, click up here on the top if you are interested in my first two weeks of this process, click underneath of that. And either way, click on the little circle over there with my logo on it to subscribe so you can keep up with what I'm doing. Thanks again, bye.